Welcome back to another video. <laughs> In Miller Miller Caravan Park, we just got here and we've decided that because it's so quiet and it's so green, we're going to do a three month Mars Camper review. Been on the road for just over three months now. Time flies. It's about time for a <laughs> review as well. Because when we were looking to buy this camper, we couldn't see anything. Any reviews on YouTube, we couldn't see anything at all. We just sort of bought it blindly. Been living out of it for three and a bit months now, and it's time to do a review. I'm holding this because there's lots of cicadas around, so we're trying to minimise the background noise. It is a bit noisy, however. You look like you're being interviewed. <laughs> Let me hold it. So <laughs> we're going to do a three month review. We're going to show you the outside. We're going to show you the inside. We're going to show you the things we like with things we don't like. So stick around. If you're thinking about buying an off-road camper or a caravan, Mars 15 premium. Stick around. I'll be showing you the inside. And I'll be doing the outside. So <laughs> let's go. First, we'll show you how we set up because we've just gotten here. So we've got a bit of setting up to do. Ready? Let's do it. The outside of the caravan. I'm going to give you an insight to all the storage and all the things that come with it. So come with me. Thing, as all caravans do, it's got a free slide. It's also got three handy drawers that we've filled up with anything you can think of. There's three drawers there. The bottom one's a bit deeper. You got a big fridge slide, enough for I think this is a 97 litre Evercool fridge. So that's pretty cool, nice and handy. Only thing I don't like is when you come up, there's a light here for your night time. It does hit, so you've got to take the extra bit to make sure it's out the way. I'm surprised that hasn't broken off yet. And then you've got a nice little storage panel here. This is where we keep all the cooking utensils. I built this very, very flimsy shelf that I might have to replace. I was worried about weight, so I got the thinnest I could. And uh, that sort of keeps everything apart. You've got your door. You've got a sliding door here as well, which is quite simple and you got a little thing there to poke through it's also to open up the door from the inside as well solid door it's got a deadlock as well the second thing this is one of my favorites is the chopping board now you put this down here you've got a chopping board nice little area here you've got the drawers that we fill with all our groceries and some of our cutlery and utensils in there and that also opens in on the inside and we'll show you that later. That's pretty handy. We've installed these little lights here as well to give us a little bit more. Your TV external bracket and all your wiring. This box here is IP65 rated, so you put the TV out here on the bracket. Connections are all in there. You got a little 12 volt socket there as well for the TV. So we've used this a couple of times. It's been pretty cool. And then you've got, now I'm pretty sure there's two options on these Mars 15s. You can get the big cabinet that sits across there and you lose a window we've decided to keep the window and have four little ones so you've got yeah your spice rack in there you've got a nice little drawer in here as well to keep all your stuff not the longest drawer going around but it's definitely enough to throw a few things in there you've got another little rack in here as well and then you've got your external kitchen which is which is what i love because we love being outdoors it's the whole reason for the trip and Doing all your cooking outside is pretty handy. So it's pretty handy to have this stainless steel kitchen roll out whenever you need it. You've got four burner there. You've got nice little wind flaps or wind reduction systems, whatever you want to call it. You've got a nice little dish rack, sink. What I love about this caravan as well is that the grey water from the inside shower and basin is separate to the grey water that comes out of the kitchen sink. So all your food and all your dishes will come straight out the bottom, which we have connected to a separate grey water hose. You're washing all your food and 
all that sort of stuff. It's not going to go into your tank, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. It goes away separately. So that's pretty cool. And then your shower and your sink inside does go into your tank. So you want to be careful. We do all our dishes out here so we don't muck around with the grey water tank. Right, then you've got outdoor speakers, IP65 speakers there that connect via Bluetooth. So for outdoor lighting, we've got a few options here. We've got we've got this one up here, which is cool because you've got a three-way switch that goes into white or yellow to keep the bugs away. You've got your handle light there, and then you've got another light, as I showed you before, above the fridge. And also, a nice touch is you've got this little switch in here for when you want to access or when you want a bit of extra lighting out there. It's got one in here as well, so that's pretty handy. It doesn't go orange, just stays white. Now, I would also like to have a floodlight out here, maybe a three-way switch, so maybe something like this, just a bit bigger, because we do lack a lot of lighting when it's real dark, and we're trying to cook out here and do everything, so I would uh, recommend either installing it yourself or getting Mars to sort something out, because, yeah, you definitely want more lighting. We're looking at getting an LED strip to go across the awning to give us that little bit more, but, yeah, we'll see how we go. A couple more things on this side. So the first thing would be the rock sliders that come with the caravan. This is a fully off-road caravan, so we do have four rock sliders, two on each side. We haven't had to use them yet, but it's good to know that uh, we've got some protection there. Fire as well, fully mud terrain. I think it's a 33 inch, I know it's 16 inch rims. I think it's a 33 inch mud tire, which has been traveling really well. Again, we've been driving for about three months straight and we've been to Cape York to the tip with the caravan and it's going pretty solid. So, another thing is the awning. Now, the awning has been good. Um, it's an electric awning, so you press the button inside and it starts coming out and you've got these two little poles that, well, not little, but they're two pretty solid poles that hold it up. I would prefer to have these poles sit on the caravan so there's nothing in the way. And I'm probably saying that because we do have a dog, Stella, and she does stay on the lead and she wraps around everything that's sort of connected to the ground. So I've also just recently purchased this 12 volt fan, which has uh, been really handy on the steel nights where it's not, there's no breeze. So we turn that on. It's just a cigarette plug, 12 volts. So that's pretty handy. Come to the front of the van. You probably already know it is a pop top. So you're gonna to have to undo two clips on the front, two at the back, and manually push it up from inside. It's not too difficult. And then you've got the front. Now, we've got this pole box that we were we had installed. I'm pretty sure it's standard now in the caravans, but I'll put all the fishing rods in here, keeps them all safe. It did come fully stacked with the annex poles, but we've uh, left the annex behind because it was just too big and heavy, so. That's nice and handy. I would have loved to have access from the top and opposed to the sides, but it is what it is. You've got your gas storage, gas storage on either side, two jerry can storages in there as well. So I'm pretty sure you can fit two 20 litre jerry cans in there. And then if we keep coming around, oh, before I forget, DO35 Cruise Master hitch, been a dream. Haven't used anything else to be honest, so I can't compare it to anything, but haven't had any issues with it. Handbrake, Anderson plug, grey, jockey wheel, also very happy with it. 750, we did reverse and almost jackknife the car and the jockey wheel did, the jockey wheel did bust into the back bar, but I've just put two new screws in here and the handle's been good. It's the 750 series. I do like it. Come around to the far side of the caravan, we're almost done. We've got another slide here as well. Now this is designed for your generator. There is a slide that will come out as well. We've used it for the Weber and a few other things. We've got, I almost forgot what's in here. We've barely used it because the diesel heater lives in here. So we've decided to put in our charcoal and uh, this cast iron pan. Yeah. You took your tank, so you've got 220 litre water tanks at the bottom. So this is for tank two, and the tank one's on the other side. So we barely fill the front one up. If we need to fill up, 120 litres is enough, because we also carry around bottled water. And then you've got your porta potty here. This is where your Dometic toilet comes out. 
keep going, you've got your power there, your mains goes there, and now we've got a shower here. So you've got an outdoor shower in case you want to rinse off before you go inside after a beach or something. And you've got your shower tent as well. And then a little light, another little LED light here as well. Never ever used this. Never, I don't even think we've ever unlocked this or unzipped that. So never had to use the outdoor shower. I didn't even know there was a light there. Do you know there was a light there? No. So there you go. We've never been to this side. All we've done here is and we've got the Truma hot water system in there, which is a 14 litre hot water system. And when we do want to use it on gas, we've got to take this cover off and we've never really used it on gas. So that's another reason we've never been here. And then you've got your tank one here. So this is where you fill up your water as well. All in all, it's a pretty good caravan. When we've been living in it for three months, taking it up to the tip, making our way back down. And it's been doing us pretty well. I mean, a few issues here and there, like your, our water pump busted. Um, what else have we had? I think our step has taken a bit of a beating from the corrugations on uh, on the way up to the tip. So, so I wanted to give you a bit of an insight to our setup. Now it's gradually getting better. I think from when we first started, we barely had nothing to three months in, we've started to accumulate a few things. We're pretty happy with the way it is now. Um, if you come through, you'll see that we've got a nice little camp mat. I think that's what you call. Uh, this uh, mat from the Mossman Markets, we've had 250 bucks for it and uh, it's been great. So we uh, only got it a couple of weeks ago or maybe three weeks and it's sort of folded in at the moment because this slab's quite small. But uh, yeah, it's double sided and it's been a couple of chairs, nice little lightweight aluminium table we picked up from Anacondas as well. I think it was only 30 bucks and it's not the sturdiest thing but it's been doing all right. And another thing we've got, if you pan to your right, you've got this privacy screen that we picked up from Bunnings. Now, this has been amazing in the mornings because the sun just shines straight through. And we put this up and we've just pegged it down to the ground. If you've got one of these caravans, you're probably wondering how, and I've put up a little video on YouTube, but I've used one of the annex poles that came with the caravan and I've extended it out and it sits into that little slit and it sits into this little awning part here and then I've just threaded through the screen and pegged it down and he's been very solid very happy with it and that's how we've got the fan up as well the same thing annex pole extended it out it sits in threaded the fan through and Bob's your uncle so yeah it's been good um, We've also got another privacy screen that we picked up on Amazon and that usually slides through the awning and sits across here. But like I said, our slab's pretty small at this site so we don't have the luxury of having a privacy screen. We'll be, we'll be too tight in here. So we left that out for today or for this trip. But yeah, that's pretty handy as well. You're nice and shady, boxed into this little outdoor lounge area, which we enjoy. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, we're after some, some lighting. So if you've got any ideas, we'd love to have a lot more lighting, ideally in the orange color for the bugs. Let us know in the comments if you have any ideas. We've also got 400 watts of solar on the roof, which has been enough for us, especially with the North Queensland sun. Uh, you've got a Dometic Aircon, which is the Harrier light model. You've got a TV antenna. We've got a skylight up there as well that we rarely use because it's right above the bed we've also got an exhaust fan and a bit of a cap that lifts off in the toilet shower area it's my turn to get behind the camera and Sophia is going to show you what the inside is like it may be a bit of a mess because we're living out of this thing but nevertheless we'll give you an idea on what it's been like what to expect um, I think Sophia is going to do a pretty good job so come on in I'm going to show you the inside of the caravan now watch your step so as soon as you walk into the caravan, we've got our indoor kitchen here. Um, we don't use it much. The main thing that we use is the burner for just heating up our milk. So we've got the two stove burner here. This one doesn't work anymore because <laughs> Sam burnt plastic on it. Um, but yeah, we only heat up our milk on it, so it does the job. Here we've got the small sink which we try not to use because it's connected to the grey water tank 
Um, we prefer the outside one, which Sam showed you earlier, because that water just goes right out of the caravan, whereas this one will sit in the tank, so we don't like using it. Um, we've got our little coffee machine here, Nespresso, which we love. It's a really good size. It takes capsules and it's small. There's no milk frother. We just warm up our milk on the stove. You can see our storage here. Sam would have showed you earlier that these two do open up on the outside as well. So um, we've got our plates and our cutlery. If we need to access anything from the outside, we just pull it from the outside and it's all connected. So we've got some more storage here, here and here. Um, over here is our gas lever. So really handy, we can turn it off and on from the inside without having to go outside to the gas cylinder and turning that off. Okay, so we've got even more storage. This is what we love about this caravan. This side is Sam's and this side is mine. So keep all my clothes here. And then you've got some drawers for socks, pajamas, underwear. The bottom ones are used for our shoes. Um, if you look over here, we've got another one down here for our shoes. So we've got our projector control panel here, which is really cool. We can control all the lights from here as well. It's Bluetooth enabled, so Sam has the app on his phone as well. So when we're in bed and we can't be bothered getting up, he can turn the outside light off. He can turn the TV off. So control panel there. Um, we've got our Bluetooth system. This is our water heater that if we use the gas instead of the electricity you can set it to whichever temperature you like um, and then we've got our awning control as well we've got more storage here as well as i said we love the storage we've got our big air fryer and our tools in there um, and just some random stuff that we this is the random storage cupboard <laughs> so over here we've got our lounge area um, with the Mars 15 premium you have the option of getting the double bunks or the L-shaped lounge obviously we opted for the L-shaped lounge because we wanted somewhere to sit and do our work but as you can see it's just become storage <laughs> um, so all the storage that I showed you earlier and we still needed more <clears throat> it's good though when people come to visit we can convert this to a bed a very comfortable bed actually so the table goes down and we just put this piece of cushion on top and it turns into a bed um, still allowing us to use the storage underneath this is the king size bed um, it's very spacious compared to some of the other caravans we were looking at we're super happy with the size one thing that we're not completely satisfied with is the mattress. It is a foam mattress, um, foam memory mattress. So we do dig in. People have suggested getting a mattress stopper, which we have done, but it is slightly better, but still not where we want it to be. Anyone has any suggestions for some spring mattresses that fold in because we do have the pop out unit. That would be great. Please put a comment down below. Um, we'd really appreciate your suggestions. It's a 24 inch TV. It's not a smart TV that we got um, with the caravan. This is the default one that comes with it, but we do have a Chromecast on the back, um, which allows us to access Netflix, Stan, Disney, and all that. Here we've got our black Sirocco fans, which we opted to get over the original ones that came with the caravan. It's got the 360 swivel as well, so you can point it in whatever direction. You can take it in or out as well. So this is my side. I got the side with more storage because I'm a girl. I need my skincare and all that, so I got this side. So you've got one, two, three, four, five cupboards here on this side, and you've got two on that side because boys don't need anything. <laughs> Sam's little side with two cupboards. We've got our windows there, 
window on my side. We've got the large window at the back. One other thing we're not completely... <clears throat> we love the size of the window, but one thing we're not happy with are these blinds that it came with. Um, not sure if you can see, but this keeps happening to the blinds. So I'm not sure if anyone else has experienced this or have found any ways around it, but you can't... It's hard for us to open the blinds. Hi there. So... <laughs> Hello there. Welcome. So, it also comes with curtains just to top it off. So if anyone's sleeping over and you want your privacy, you can close these curtains. Last but not least, we've got the bathroom through here. Um, so we've got our toilet, our shower and our sink. It's not the biggest bathroom, but we didn't want the caravan to be huge. So for this size caravan, it was actually quite spacious. A mirror in there too. We find it quite low, but I guess it has to be low because of the pop-up top as well, which I got from Amazon. It lights up <clears throat> just for, you know, tweezing eyebrows and such. And we've got our little sink in there too. These mirrors <clears throat> ourselves, we got these from a pack of four was what about $15 from Kmart. Um, it's not the best full length mirror, but it does the job. We were looking at some other mirrors from Bunnings, but they were way too heavy and we were worried about them falling and breaking. These are just simply little sheets. So, so over here on the bathroom door is where we keep our Polaroids. Um, that's from the Insta Mini Polaroid. And over here is one of my paintings I did um, during COVID. Haven't painted in a while. I did bring my painting stuff with me and I've been trying to paint, but everything's been jam packed. So, this so it is a small caravan and it is a bit of a mess, but we just wanted to show you guys how we truly live out of the caravan. Um, there's stuff everywhere on top. So when we do travel, we have to take everything down and put it on the floor. So this is probably as tidy as you're gonna see it. So I forgot to mention our battery system. So this is stock standard, it didn't make any changes. We've got two 135 amp lithium batteries under the bed. We've also got a 2000 watt pure sign inverter. And that has been running everything pretty well. We've got a 400 watt solar panel on the top. The only thing I would change is I'd probably upgrade the solar panel and go to 600 and I may have got an extra battery. Not that we've needed it, but I mean, it's always good to have the extra juice. So everything's powered up through the Projector 400 system. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that gives you an idea on what these Mars Camper 15 Premiums are like. If you have any more questions or if we've missed anything, let us know in the comments. Happy to answer any questions. You know, we've been living out of this thing and to be fair with you, overall, we're pretty happy. There's no complaints, there's no real issues. So that's our honest review. We have absolutely no ties with Mars. We bought this thing. We had no idea what to expect. We tried to find reviews online, couldn't find anything. So we just took the punt and we're pretty happy with it. So yeah, let us know if you want to see anything else. In the future, we might do another video on the car, what we're using to tow uh, on the roof as well with the tinny there. It might be a bit interesting to you. So let me know if you do want to see something like that and we'll put something together. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.